Merry meet everybody, Rowan here. Um, it's been a hectic week and, well it's been more than a week, but it's been hectic. <laughs> um, and I don't have the internet at home and I have very sparing data. So my Facebook um, presence is a bit diminished obviously when my data is low, etc. Um, anyway, going well, doing well with the year and a day study, loving it feels really good to have made that that proper um, commitment to to redo the year and a day it's I'm keeping it fairly private um, not sort of doing regular updates and posts on how it's going I will be doing updates I'm probably gonna do it month by month um, purely because it just feels right to keep it quite private um, obviously not like hiding away from everybody else but Everybody does it differently and that's how it's working for me. So I thought I'd give you a little update on things that I've done, etc. around the home. As you can see, I have been going jar crazy. <laughs> and I've managed to um, find and jar up all the herbs that um, Morigana Jill sent to me. <clears throat> and um, I've got a few extras from the Chinese herbalist. I've got rosebuds there. And Jill, you sent me um, some lavender bud. Thank you. I had it in here. I since found a shop um, in something called the Enterprise Centre, which is near me. Um, and the lady in there has access to massive amounts of lavender while growing and on her um, farmstead lavender. So I went in there today and I bought, as you can see, that's a, a fairly hefty jar full well and it is full and that's not even all of it there's more left over here um so that's a heck of a lot um and i got that for two pounds fifty <laughs> so <laughs> that's where i'll be getting my lavender from now on um and i've had a little sort of rearrange obviously as you can see i mean these are the shelves in my kitchen and i've got all these herbs jarred up etc I've got some more jars um went to Lakeland Plastic this morning um no I didn't I went to Steamer Trading get it right um for those jars and they were six really good size um jam jars but they're not round jam jar shapes they're like slightly diamondy shape if that makes sense um Tell you what, I'll make this a lot easier and I'll attempt one handed to get all them out so you can see what I mean. So, yeah, that's six pounds for the glass jars with lids. Because Lakeland, Lakeland Limited, you can get jars, you get um, a pack of, I think it's 12, for like eight pounds something. But you then have to, no it's £9 something, but you then have to buy the lid separately which makes up to about £15. That's the shape they are. And they're a good size. Um, as I say they've all got their gold lids and I'm liking the gold lids, it just it fits in with what I've got going on in the kitchen already. So that was £6. And I got another separate big one, which isn't diamond, that's round shape, for the massive bunch of eucalyptus that I have, which is ready to be jarred up now, because that's all dry. That's been drying for two weeks, I think it is. Three weeks? Three weeks. Um, and I've got some holly drying up there and a little bit of rosemary there. But also something I've done is along the, I mean, these shelves are fairly long, these shelves in my kitchen, is I've put up um, cup hooks on the front of the shelves because it, the shelves are above my radiator and obviously in the colder months we have the heating on a fair bit or I have the heating on a fair bit, I meant we as in people um, so herbs can hang up there not cooking but drying at a quicker rate um, so here I've, as demonstrated, this is ready to jar up as well now I've got two hefty bunches of rosemary and the chilies that I grew at home, they're ready to go as well. They're all dried, all nice, and they look a bit gnarly, but, well, I think they look awesome. <laughs> um, and I've also been um, finding bottles and everything. 
up here, if we can focus. I've rebottled my chalice well water and my holy well water that I got when I went to the holy well recently with um, Leonie. And a nice huge long bottle for my rainwater. And uh, Leonie and I went to TJ Hughes yesterday. And I am stunned. Absolutely stunned. I mean, you see the size of this bottle, compare it to that one, okay? This bottle was 199. And this bottle, see the size of that one, was a pound. You can't go wrong with that, really, can you? <laughs> so I think um, this one's going to have my full moon water in. Unfortunately, life took over and I missed the opportunity to do full moon water. Um, I just didn't get to do it, so I'll do it on the next one. And I'm not sure what I'm going to put in that one. Um, I might put some new moon water in that one. Um, I've also been drawing, drawing, washing off and uh, soaking off labels of wine bottles, etc. For doing up various different blessed and crystal elixir waters, etc. Um, and because obviously those are screw tops, which you can see up there. When I did go to Lakeland Plastics, Lakeland Limited, whatever you want to call it. I got um, 30 corks and obviously you can trim these down if they don't fit in the bottles you've got. They fit in wine bottles, like generic wine bottles, but beer bottles are slightly smaller so you can trim them down. Um, you can chew them down or you can, well I just take a bread knife to them and <laughs> actually trim them down. Um, take them from being like a, just a cylinder into a bit like a funnel shape so it fits in better. And I was really pleased I rescued this bottle. This wasn't mine. I rescued it from our um, recycling box outside my house. So one of my neighbours has obviously had some really sexy red wine in this gorgeous bottle. I can see that personally, full of some gorgeous liquid that I don't know. But I, I can see it with a big, like the labels like these. I can see it just with a big old label like that, that says poison or something similar. <laughs> I think that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean that's that's it really on kind of like an update styly. Um, so that's what I've got going on in my kitchen at the moment. I'm gonna obviously because I've got six new jars and the big jar for the eucalyptus, etc. I'm gonna be spreading across onto this set of shelves, which currently has a load of herbal teas and some of the wooden stuff that survived from the fire. Um, so I'm gonna be spreading across onto those shelves as well I think because I don't I didn't use these shelves for general kitchen purposes anyway apart from like the herbal teas they were just space to store crap that I hadn't found a home for yet so I'm gonna sort of designate that as my herby witchy apothecary area um, and anybody who comes into my home knows that you, d you don't eat <laughs> or you do, it's not for culinary consumption the stuff that I have lying about and it's all labelled I mean I'm not gonna have anyone coming in that's gonna go oh what's that I'm just gonna have a munch of this like mug one see what happens or like mistletoe etc <laughs> it's just you just don't do it so but yeah so that's what I've got going on there and my big old eucalyptus that's gonna be dried out very soon well it is dried out it's gonna be jarred up very soon that's what I meant sorry my head's a bit all over the place at the moment um so yeah, update wise, that's as far as I've got really. Year and the day's going really well. Um, life's looking a bit more calm and centered. I've gotten into a really good daily meditation practice. Um, still doing my yoga. Leg is feeling better since its last hiccup. Um, and that's about it, I think. I'm gonna be putting up my um, Yule tree and decorations this afternoon, because I don't care if it's early. I feel the need for some Yule cheer around my home, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Alright guys, so um, hope all is well and you're all having a wonderful time with the year and a day, those that are partaking in the course that we're on. I love you all dearly and I will speak to you all soon. As ever, blessed be.